Hello everyone. Welcome back to another recipe episode. And I am really super excited about this holiday treat because you're going to love it. We have snowball cookies. Yeah, you heard me right. Snowballs. Uh, you know, have a good time for ingredients. Snowballs, that's how super easy they are. You're going to need one cup of butter or coconut oil. Either works. You're going to take a half cup of powdered sugar, put that into a bowl. Now, don't turn your mixer on like super high or even medium initially because you're going to have that powdered sugar just go poof right in your face and then you're going to be a snowball. <laughs> so don't do that. I've done it. Besides the fact, it's a mess to clean up. So slowly turn your mixer on. Then we are going to take two cups of all-purpose flour and a half cup of finely chopped pecans, walnuts, you know, whatever you have, almonds, that would work because any of those nuts are really delicious in this. So we are going to stir that together. Get it just kind of mixed up. Now, the reason why you put the nuts in with the flour is so that they don't fall to the bottom of your dough. Actually, when nuts are coated with flour, they will suspend in whatever you're putting them in, which is a really cool thing. I'm fondling my, <laughs> I'm fondling my mixer. You fondle yours. Okay, we're going to put all the dry ingredients into our sand mixer and create a dough if we can get it in there we go there you go such a good snowball such a good snowball now again start your mixer slowly because we do not need poof and you to become a snowball we want to eat snowballs We've got a mix up, so grab your cookie sheet with some parchment paper if you like. And we are going to make these snowballs into balls, or at least attempt to. So I have a cookie baller right here because I'm a baller. Yeah. Um, I like balls. I like balls, and evidently I like to play with balls because I like to make a lot of ball cookies. Okay. So we are going to attempt to make snowball cookies, like round actual balls. So if for some reason yours do not come out or won't roll into balls, don't worry about it. Just have, make them into splatted snowballs. They'll eat just fine and just the same. Dish those out onto your cookie sheet. All right, now that we have our cookie tray full, it is time to stick them in a 325 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. They're gonna turn a light golden brown and be yummy delicious. So come on, let's stick it in. Alrighty, so our snowball cookies have come out of the oven and as you can tell, mine have gone splat. <laughs> Totally okay, they're gonna taste perfect. So what we're going to do to make them snowballs, now if yours turned out into little balls, you can roll them in the powdered sugar. Otherwise, I am going to dust my splattered snowball cookies with some powdered sugar. Cause you know, it's a snow dusting. Okay, I'm so ready to try these snow dusted splatted <laughs> snowball cookies. Yeah, put this tasty little morsel in your mouth. So what do you say we try it? Because these snowball cookies look amazing and they smell even better. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Just like a snowball, they melt in your mouth. Literally, it's like you put it on your tongue and the moistness and 
Oh, they're so creamy and good. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a shortbread for those of you who've never tried snowball cookies. If you haven't tried a snowball, you seriously need to because these, these are super delicious. So delicious, you're gonna want more than one. I love you. Mm.